Yoka Bambomti Chini Tanchu Mungong to I know, well, not me, not say I know. I think I missed a letter. These letters, surprisingly, are really hard to find for a lame person like me. Um, I don't know where to look. I'm assuming, but I, I tell you, I think one came out since the last letter I read, but I could not find it, so I gave up. But either way, we are here on January the 19th, 2024. It says, Judge Michael S. Krenick, I think, okay, and we are, of course, hearing again from Sarah Boone, case number 2020CF00260380, <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me so much, <laughs> Honorable Judge Krenick, finally, a new judge, <laughs> did she really get a new judge? I did not know that. She is excited. I'm excited too for you both. <clears throat> it's strange. <laughs> it's strange how the Lord works. As I was in the process of trying to disqualify Wooten after being hey, nay, it looks like it says either N or H E Y. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone help me in the comments, please, and thank you. Judge for years. And me still incarcerated with nothing to show. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this lady said, at the four years, Judge, you ain't gave her a participation trophy, a perfect attendance certificate, or nothing. She ain't got nothing to show for these four years. Can you imagine? <laughs> what the hell do you think everybody else gets after they've been in jail for what you did? I'm, I'm just confused. But you know, I'm here for a cerebral. Because I like to think how you thinking. Others... Other than seven different attorneys. So that's the judge's fault. Because it's not by my choice. I ain't doing judge. I have done nothing to offend or drive them away. It cannot be me, your honor. She got perfect A's in school. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm trying to hold it together. I promise. You should see me taking deep breaths and looking away. Okay. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. News clips of me walking in and out of the courtroom and everything relative to my case permitted to be slathered on the global internet and in which I have not seen myself. Lord, uh, your honor, your honor, new judge, can you please kick her into YouTube? Put her on YouTube and let her see a couple channels and suggest my. Okay, never mind. I lied. Don't suggest mine because I still want to write Sarah Boone. <laughs> A letter, and if she see mine, she might not write me back. So I'm on my business over here. But this lady said she ain't got to see nothing. And apparently, you supposed to be able to supervise when people making stories about you after you committed a crime. It don't make sense to me either, but shit, that's what she said. That's what she said. I'm trying to get some brownie points with Miss Sarah. <laughs> I felt he was the ticket holder to my overly hyped, illicitly distributed, misconstrued, misconstrued. <laughs> it was a misconstrued, misconstrued criminal case and great reason I am still here. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't. Okay. Again, ongoing four years and seven attorneys later, not by choice. See my later date, my letter dated. That's the one I'm missing. Okay, that says it's on the clerk's website, so I'll be able to see it if I log in. Is you sure, Sarah Boone? Is you sure, Sarah Boone? My letter dated six twenty nine, twenty twenty three, on clerk's website. I, I 
just need an explanation, though. I'm confused. I didn't know much of anything about goddamn Judge Wooten. Who the hell is Judge Wooten? I couldn't even pick that man out of a lineup. So why the hell would he be the cause? Is we getting delusional? Are we thinking, like, are you just talking to other inmates and they putting this in your head? I just got to know how you equate. <laughs> You still being there, not to anything that you've actually done, not to the crime that you unintentionally committed. That's not the reason you did. It's because of the judge. He was the one who caused you to lose. Is it six? We on number seven or are we on number eight? All of those. You know, they left because. You don't have a defense, but in your mind and out your mouth, you be saying you do. You be writing them letters like that. And when they show up to y'all meetings, you hand them a stack of papers sticking in the stack of papers they got. That's the evidence file. It, it's not none of that. It's not none of that. It's not your fault. Is that a disease or disorder or something like that? Can you have a disease where you, you literally can't take the blame and can't see your own fault? I'm confused. I got questions. Please don't watch this, Sarah Boone. I'm not blaming you. I'm just talking to the people. Mind your business. <laughs> While still waiting to properly I don't I'm not smart. I did not get all A's in school. I promise you. I promise you. As most of you probably can already guess. <laughs> I do not know what the fuck this word is. Elucidate. Elucid. E L U C I D. I, I think maybe I'm wrong. Elucid. I'm looking in the sky back and forth like I can actually find the words, but I have no idea. Elucidate. E L U C I D A T E. While still waiting to properly elucidate. The court. A loose. What the fuck? Uh, oh my god. I hate feeling stupid. <laughs> I will try to guess every word that I can possibly think of that's close to that and see if it fits. I can't. I'm at a loss. Public. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Let me just. While still waiting to properly. Elucidate the court. Elucidate. It's a verb. Make something clear. Explain. <laughs> Works such as theirs will help elucidate this matter. That way I feel a little bit better. <laughs> Public and world. And after whatever the dysfunction was in the attendance part of my most recent PTC and status hearing, which I am trying to ensure my automatic attendance futuristically. Please see my draft motion included. I am still trying to have my attorney submit on my behalf. I wanted to bring to your judicial attention the following information so you and the world are aware. It is not I who... <laughs> am ever delaying trial as Wooten inappropriately accused me of doing in a past hearing especially now you have mandated a trial date to be held to be had in May with no further continuances leaving less than four months to put together and complete what should and could have been done already what happened in all the four years prior please see all my correspondence online. Read all them goddamn letters, Judge. Don't go to the actual case file. They don't know nothing. They don't know nothing. Look at my handwritten jail letters with all the evidence that I've been putting together. And you'll be able to see the conspiracy against me. It wasn't intentional. And I should have been let out day two. To date, Winston E. Hobson has been my court-appointed attorney for 133 days and counting. To date, Mr. Hobson has only met me with me one time. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I 
can imagine her with one of those clocks that they play chess with when you hit one side and the other side go up. And as soon as he walk in the door, she hit it. He gave her three hours, boo. The clock don't even go that long. He gave you a whole three hours. <laughs> she mad as shit. She mad. Could you imagine almost four months? Is that four months? Oh, that is. That is. That's over. I apologize. It is not funny because I would be heartbroken. But y'all know Sarah Boone is a goddamn nuisance. Y'all know she a nuisance. You know it took three hours for her to tell her side of the story. By the time he left, they had not discussed it. Anything. It's like, no, that's all allegedly in my opinion. I'm lying. I'm lying. To date, Mr. Hobson has only met with me one time for a total of three hours on 11 7 2023. <laughs> to date, no phone calls have been received by Mr. Hobson as his. <laughs> oh my God. Do y'all remember? Do y'all remember? Do y'all remember the other lawyer who gave her two phone numbers? One of them, he never even activated per uh, Sarah Boone. The other one, I can't remember what was wrong with it, but here we go again. Oh my God, the heartbreak. You know you in jail. You only get a little bit of time off phone, on the phone. It's so sad. I should not be laughing, but it's hilarious because you know, again, she a fucking nuisance. This is how I would be if I were a lawyer and she was my client. Like, that's the only reason it's funny because I know how it is when you got a job and you got somebody harassing you, getting on your fucking nerves. You trying to help them best you <laughs> But you're like, I'm not answering that phone. You just watch it ring. You just watch it ring. Oh, and her on the other end when it just ring. Oh, give her a hug. Somebody give her a hug. <laughs> to date, no phone calls have been received by Mr. Hobson as his phone does not work properly. For further immediate, much needed communication to be made between clients and attorney. To date, I have mailed five letters to Mr. Hobson trying to communicate my urgent need to speak to him. Sarah, can I give you my address, please? I promise you, if you mail me these letters, I am having such a hard time getting these letters. I don't think after four years of you being incarcerated, I should have to wait so long to get these letters. I am confused and I am part of the global internet. <laughs> if you read these letters to me, I promise I will get up first thing every morning that I receive a letter and I will read that letter. I will post that letter to the internet so fast you won't even have to worry about dialing any numbers. I will personally put your lawyer's name in the title of my videos addressed to Mr. Hobson please listen maybe he don't want to read maybe reading is too much maybe he wants me to read these letters too <laughs> baby please baby please baby please send me your letters <laughs> you done sent five letters to this man and he ain't called or came by to see you at all man you must not have paid that man <laughs> he must be paid the state and must got a bunch of other clients. <laughs> I just don't be thinking that normal people be realizing what it's actually like for the other normal people who, who be in and out of jail. For the young, no, I say young, for the, for the people who are just a part of the system. You know, you got locked up once and you just in and out. Uh, I'm not saying big. I'm not saying small. I'm not saying criminal, criminal. It could be, you know, child support. Let's just say child support is not a criminal act. Once you get behind, you're going to be involved in the system. You get behind, they might lock you up. You might get out. You might not pay. You might get out again. I mean, locked up again. Whatever, whatever the case may be. You might not realize that when you don't got the money, when 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 the taxpayers got to pay the lawyers, those lawyers don't get paid the best. And they don't react to you as the client as they would if you paid them. If you paid them, I'll chop out it, right? Plus, when the when the government and the state taxpayers pay you, you don't really get to be the judge on how many clients you get. They got a bunch. They got a bunch. And they got to do a bunch of work. And all that work that you see on TV when it's your personal lawyer that you didn't pay for, all that don't go into your case. You don't get the experts. 
You don't get the two-hour opening and closing statements. If you watch like normal trials, that is the... I can't even get the words out. I'm just chewing and gumming it over here. <laughs> that is one of the biggest differences I see. How much work goes into that portion of the case, the opening and closing statements. I don't think it's really necessary. I think it's part of the fun fair of having your own lawyer and that's what you pay for kind of thing. Um, but I will say it does make a huge difference. But the, the experts and all of the extra people that they got to pay for, you're not going to get that, boo. You're not going to get that. They might try to squeeze it out for you because you're so highly publicized, but I don't think you're getting it. I think you're going to get a regular old regular public defender case worth of your money. And you need to stop writing them letters and just write them to me. I'm the only one who won't care about it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to schmooze and put my best game on her. Um, if she ever listened to this. But I got to put my opinion out there. This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. And the fact that she actually believed that she's special and she gonna get the same kind of treatment that they be getting on TV. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for the delusion. But I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs> to date, I sent one letter to the investigator in my case to contact Hobson to contact me and see if he can assist in correcting the phone problem. Also, to inquire when anyone is coming. Is this investigator, like, through, like, the police and through the um, DA's office? Or is this a private investigator? <clears throat> Today, I feel I am not being included or heard or cared about in my case. Again, from the continued miscommunication again with Mr. Hobson and time consuming undiscussed entries are being made on my behalf. The continuance I did not know about, the waiver of appearance, once I did not know about. Oh, <clears throat> the waiver of appearance I did not know about, along with other documents and I am never sent copies of anything filed. So I know. So I know. I keep trying to tell him about with no response. Furthering the already massive di dysfunction in my four-year case. Jesus Christ. I don't know why she didn't represent herself. I mean, I, I, mean, I, know, I know how it would have went. Well, it will go. Because <laughs> she still got a chance. Oh, man. I, I wish. I hope and I pray. I got a feeling that that's why Darrell, Daryl, Dookie Butt did it his way. Because he knew he was going to have certain opinions that were going to be strong. And he wanted things to go his way. I think he knew wholeheartedly nothing was going to change the outcome of his case. So he wanted to go down fighting the way he thought. Sarah has a really clear idea of what she think her case should looks like, I believe. I believe. I do think she should attempt to um, represent herself only because no matter if it's her or the lawyer, I'm, I'm telling you all the things that you think are going to come in and it's going to happen and those birds that uh, Cinderella called and they flew in with the drug. None of that is going to happen. None of it. They're not going to be able to excuse away what you did. What I do think, though, you will be able to get everything off your chest the same way. Um. If you just let the lawyer do it, like it'll be the same outcome. You'll be able to at least feel better if you got everything off your chest. I meant, I said it kind of backwards, but I think it would be the same outcome whether the lawyer did it or if you did it and got everything off your chest. But it would be more enjoyable for me. I am so sorry to say that. I am so sorry to say that. But it would be. It would be. I would love to see Sarah Boone stand up there. You know who I think it would be like? I think it would be like. Jennifer Crumbly's lawyer. I am so sorry to say that, but that lady is like the. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna keep my opinion to myself. I was supposed to be reading. I apologize to you. I don't even know where I was at to be honest. Okay, I was hoping in the PTC status hearing on Tuesday, one sixteen twenty four, I could at least. 
play catch up in the courtroom for five minutes so many of my attorneys have done it prior including mr hobson in the one court date i've had a continuance of a continuance 10 30 23 to express and emphasize the need for him to communicate and schedule a second very overdue meeting i still have not even heard from mr hobson about our missed ptc status hearing what's the status <laughs> I want a mugshot picture of Sarah Boone holding up the little black and white thing in front of her that's supposed to have your number. But I wanted to say, what's your status? <laughs> and she could just send that letter to her lawyer. <laughs> Don't send no letter, just send the picture, Sarah. <laughs> but it's got to be that one of you smiling. So that picture of you smiling, holding, oh my God. Oh my God, that would be the best thing. What's the sad if? To date, one, one out of 133 days and counting, attorney and his client have met. It sounds like a love story, aww. <laughs> to date, three out of now 3,192 hours attorney and clients have discussed partial general case information to date i still have not seen my discovery i don't think sarah realized when a lawyer first meets you you're supposed to discuss your defenses the lawyer will come in and say hey do you know much about the case he may show you stuff he may discuss and this is all allegedly in my opinion because i don't know shit He'll come in and be like, you know much about the case. And as long as you say, yeah, you know what you're charged with, all this kind of stuff. He'll be like, okay, well, at least tell me what happened. Do you have any defenses? Did you do it? Alibi, all that kind of stuff. Sarah Boone said, watch my interrogation. She didn't say that. I'm sure she actually said some stuff. But Sarah has started all this off. Each and every interaction with, it wasn't intentional. I don't know why. She's literally saying, why is she there four years later with nothing to show? Meaning she doesn't even think she should be in jail for four years. If the case was done three years ago, Sarah Boone in her mind would have been a free bird as of now. So I don't know what the hell she expects them to discuss after going the first time, spending three hours and probably maybe allegedly getting nowhere in the conversation besides her complaining and griping about the things that she wants done. Boo, I got work to do. I got work to do. I got to answer these, um, answer these, uh, what they be calling them? allegations and this motion that they didn't file over here i got literally 347 clients who uh, <laughs> are literally in the same place that you have all of them have cases they all have files they all have discoveries they all have motions they all have dates like you 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 you're not the only one and you're difficult all of your facts are laid out um, we have everything that we need that's the thing about it I don't think she realizes she has already given a full interview confession of sorts. She has videos. I don't know if Miss Sarah Boone remembers the videos, you know, and they have witnesses. They have police officers who try to keep them away from each other. They have his family. They have her family. They even have her child. If they really wanted to get deep up in the shit, they have an eyewitness of the interactions between the two of them in their home domicile. <laughs> Sarah Boone, you're the last person that they need to actually speak to. Until it's time. I mean, not really, but really, but really. I don't know. The only other thing I can say is, is okay, it is. They do need to show her all of the stuff. But the police tried to show you the video, boo. You ain't want to see it. What happened? What happened? Now you want to see the video? I'm confused. 
Your Honor, when is the next status hearing, please? Especially since I slash we were not at the last PTC status hearing, and especially since I am trying to communicate with my attorney in more than one way to fully maximize, utilize the minute the minute amounts of time allotted before trial, my fair, appropriate, lawful trial. She act like she gonna get her own ride there. Like, like, pooch you, lawyer. I'm not gonna ask you. Let me ask the judge. Hey, judge, can you let me know when the next uh, meeting is? Because my lawyer ain't gonna let me know, and he ain't gonna try to bring me. But I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. I think we got left service at the jail. No Uber, just left. <coughs> <laughs> I am so, so, so sorry. I'm going to just read. I'm going to be good. I'm going to just read the rest. Okay. I still am wondering why, though. I had, I've had to wait for four years for something to finally happen on slash in my case. As Judge Wooten, I wonder also, was I the oldest case on his docket? Either way, I'm still here waiting patiently and very excited to get this highly anticipated show on the road. I await your overdue and a very needed judicial di direction, supervision, and intervention. Thank you in advance, Judge Krenick. Welcome. Did this. <laughs> Oh my God. Sincerely, Sarah Boom. I'm going to just sincerely and keep it moving. We're going to move on to the draft. Oh, my God. Let me catch my breath. Let me drink some tea. The tea ain't helping. I still sound like a man this morning, but but we're going to be glad I'm here. <laughs> man voice and all. In the circuit court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit in... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the draft. I don't know what the fuck this is the draft for, but she wrote a draft motion for something. I can't remember. In the Circuit Court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit in and for Orange County, Florida, states she tried to write it like the papers. <laughs> this is where those straight A's kick in, you guys. Pay attention. State of Florida plaintiff, case number... Oh, I'm sorry. I read it out of... Okay, let me read it correctly. I'm sorry, Sarah Boone. I apologize. State of Florida plaintiff versus Sarah Boone defendant. Case number 2020CF0026038080, Division 20. <laughs> I should not enjoy this so much. I don't know what it is. Motion to be included in and allowed admittance to all defendants pre-trial conference and hearings. Comes now defendant Sarah Boone by and through her undersigned attorney Winston E. Hobson respect fully requests <laughs> permittance to attend all my pretrial conferences and hearings ongoing until the conclusion of my criminal case. Per FRCP Rule 3.220, subsection O, subsection 1, the following is stated the lawful, lawfully, uh, the following is stated to lawfully allow my inclusion participation and require a requested admittance one the trial court may hold one or more one or more pre-trial conferences to consider such matters as will promote a fair and expeditious trial the defendant must be present at any pre-trial conference unless the defendant's presence is waived in writing or on the record by the defendant or by the defendant's counsel with the defendant's consent. The, I'm sorry, in support, the defendant alleges as follows. Let me turn my phone so I can see I'm going blind. These pretrial conferences are for my personal individual criminal case. If professional... She about to call me out. Okay, not me, because I'm not a professional. So I lied. Never mind. It's y'all. She calling y'all out. Mm. 
Mm, which are the if professional YouTube YouTubers it does say YouTubers news channels court TV if professional YouTubers news channels court TV etc are given permission and allowed entry to the court for viewing and the judge is also and the judge also is allowing the conferences to be streamed live with all the court minutes uploaded to the internet and world, I, the defendant, should be included for most. Number two, I may not have regular consistent updates or communication with my court appointed attorney and by attending all my PTCs and hearings, I will know current status, important dates, casework being completed, changes in parties, time frames, expectations, all pertinent information I, the defendant, have a right to know once and need regarding my case. All information is important, relative, and necessary to me. But see, here go the thing, boo. You're not getting all that information in these motions. I mean, in these um, hearings. These pre-trials and all that kind of shit. It, they go in there, they, two, they say two sentences, and then they close. They be done. You be wanting all the tea. That's why they don't bring you. Because you got so many fucking questions that they not about to answer right now. It ain't time for that. You missed it. It's not the fault. What you need to do is either get you one of them phones that them people be sneaking in there and they be having. Because I be seeing the people in jail on TikTok and on Instagram, right? You need to either get you one of them phones and tune into these stations that be in the court. Or you need to go to the library and log into your case file and see what the hell is going on. It don't be not much. It don't be nothing big. I understand you want to know. I'm nosy too. I would be the same way. But they don't bring you because you like the annoying little sister that always got to ask questions and stuff like that. And that's not what they there for. They ain't got time for that. This is a business. This is their job. They just trying to hurry up so they can get off for the day. I don't think you realize that. I am not consistently included in the certificates of service and sent copies of any documents being filed in court regarding my case. As requested numerous times by the defendant in writing and verbally in the court, neither by the judge, the court, or, oh my, it looked like nay again, N-E-Y. But it's a my. I apologize. So long ago, long ago, whenever I was fighting over that word back then, it was my. <sighs> or my attorneys. By attending my pretrial conferences, I will know what documents have been filed, need to be, and will be for, will be for and in my case. Another way I can know what is going on in my case and being worked on. Number four, in complete overall support, it is my right by law as an individual defendant and inmate to be included in any and all developments made in my case. It also is my right to finally achieve success in any and every aspect possible in my case. By attending and being included in my pretrial conferences and hearings, said success can and will be accomplished fairly, faster, properly. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so sad. Could you imagine you trying to... Oh man. Wherefore, the defendant Sarah Boone respectfully asks the Honorable Court to grant my motion to be included go, going forward to all defendants' pretrial conferences and hearings. By Sarah Boone. Wait a minute, Sarah Boone. Is this your address? Number 20005623 FDCB. Is that why? Is that a why? Is that an M? Is that a U? <clears throat> Somebody clarify, please and thank you. Please and thank you. P.O. Box 4970, Orlando, Florida 32802 4970. I wonder how many letters she get. That's my only wonder. I could wait like a year 
my channel, you know, by, by that time, oh, yeah, by that time, my videos, I mean, her case will be over. I can write her a letter. I just want to know. I still want to know. Oh, my her address will be changed by then. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep that in mind. Certificate of Service. I certify that an original of these documents had been filed by a U.S. mail with the clerk of court of the Ninth Judicial Circuit and that a copy of this document will be filed in the Florida e-portal to state attorney and all attorneys or other parties on court records on this 19th day of January 2024. Sarah Boone. Sarah Boone, I don't know if you can write motions, boo. I appreciate you. Mm -mm, not really. But I'm going to just say I appreciate you because somebody I, I got to appreciate you at this point, I guess. To me, this seems like you know how you get in trouble in school and they tell you you got to write a paper explaining all the ways the things that have happened have impacted everyone and how we're going to change moving forward minus how we got here. So if we forgot, Miss Sarah, one day we was free. We ain't have no judges. This was about 12 lawyers ago, okay? So if you can remember 12 lawyers ago, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and count the initial ones at the very first appearance. And I'm going to just count it. I'm going to count the bail. If you know how when they go up to that very first, um, what is it, when you get your bond, your bond hearing, and the bailiffs, I mean, and the, the, the guard in the jail sometimes will just read their list of charges. I don't know if y'all watch court cases like me, but sometimes they'll actually have a police officer read the charges, or sometimes they, they'll... Um, be the attorney essentially it, 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 yes every court is different definitely i'm gonna count all of them this was 12 lawyers ago right it was a couple bottles of wine we had a puzzle um, i think we did some painting and there was a suitcase there was a suitcase and i'm gonna say allegedly in my opinion i'm gonna say that since you was the mastermind behind all the games and all the fun things to do and we so bored and he can't stay outside and he can't just be drinking by himself he gotta be up under you but he gotta be controlled and all this kind of shit, right because if you saying you you know you went upstairs and you took a break and then oh that was better and you just needed some me time but you was the one who pulled him from being outside and just sitting down and drinking. Like, you, you was the one who was the pack leader of the activities of the evening. I'm going to say you had the idea of a game of hide and seek. Sound innocent enough, don't it? It don't sound like it's no devious mode. This is fucking hide and seek until, until you skip to the good part. I'm sorry. I had to sing it like that. It wasn't the good part. I apologize. Literally. Literally. It's nothing good about this. It's because I said that. So you got to skip to the video. Skip to the video. You go from having in your mind an idea of a fucking game of hide and seek. Fun times. You know. Especially as an adult. You ain't got no kids in the house. You been drinking. You let me get a man in the house. And we about to play some hide and seek. Okie dokie. I remember when I was a kid, you used to play hide and go free. Now, I didn't play the game. I was approved. I was approved. And I was fat and ugly. Ain't nobody want to hump on me. Ain't nobody want to hump on me. But I used to be around. I used to see the games. <laughs> so you let me get in the house playing hide and go seek with some goddamn body. It's going to be the, all the games that I missed as a child. You damn sure <laughs> better know when I find you, boo. <laughs> It's going to be like a bad mall in somebody. We're going to make this game fun. It's going to be fun. That's what the, the game is for. As an adult, if you're playing childish ass games, come on now. What else is you doing it for? I'm really not here for the... <laughs> we can be friends and hold hands during the daytime. <laughs> in the house, in the dark, by ourselves. <laughs> With the wine. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I digress. Sarah Boone actually played hide and seek. She locked this man. I don't know how the fuck this was hide and seek, but skip to the video again. Skip past how we got here. Skip past all of that. This man, I don't even know how I can I can laugh. I promise you, I do stuff like that just now. How I got quiet. That's how I do moments of silence for people. I feel like you just gotta you gotta 
take a deep breath. You got to swallow hard and just think about them for a second. And then you can kind of disassociate and get back to the funnies, if that makes sense. Like, this is horrible, horrible, horrible what she did. She tortured this man while he was alive. Like, literally, he knew what was coming and had no idea, no idea that this person had no intention of letting him live. Like, I know he did not think that Sarah, of all people, would be the one to cause his demise. But I know he felt his life slipping away. He couldn't breathe. And this motherfucker is sitting on the goddamn couch. Very vulgar. Very unconcerning. It's so disheartening to hear her talking back to him. Knowing the history that they had, knowing that she's not as innocent, she's trying to make it seem like, not to say I can understand, but you can understand somebody who has been traumatically tortured and they finally get that one moment, that upper hand, and their mind can't compute generosity uh, or, or kindness because they've been done so wrong. This is not what this is. That is not at all where we're at. Although Jorge may have, or George, whatever it is, may have done more to her, maybe, I don't know. I don't necessarily think that it was one-sided at all. I feel like he couldn't control, maybe, I don't know. I'm not even going to speculate with that. Because Sarah Boone got a mouth on her, and she seemed like the one that knew how to cut you deep. She seemed like, ooh, boy. Either way, I'm confused as to how four years is enough. Because it seems like to me, she doesn't even think her crime was worth one year. Let alone four, let alone more. I don't know. I really do wonder, though, how many years we think Sarah Bone won't get. How many of y'all think she's going to get? How many of y'all think she's going to get? Let me know. I don't know. That's it for me. I'm going to see if I can find that old letter and I'm going to still read it. I don't really care about how old this shit is. <laughs> I'm here for it. At this point, I'm just putting stuff on my page that interests me. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to just keep going with that. So, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.